this video has gone viral, pretty uh, disturbing and, and uh, kind of certainly shocking. Uh, KTNV in Las Vegas uh, has a story. Channel 13 has obtained video of a Clark County District Court judge being violently attacked by a man during a hearing on Wednesday morning. The man involved in the attack is, it looks like his name is Debra. Um, Deobra? D-E-O-B-R-A. You get a, you get a, you get birth to a son, you name him Debra? It's probably not Debra, it's probably Deobra or something like that, but it, it, it's too close to Debra. Anyway, the man, I mean, this, that's really not the point at all. Uh, the man involved in the attack is Debra Delone Redden, who was uh, being sentenced for aggravated battery with substantial bodily harm prior to the attack on Judge Mary K. Holthus. He entered a guilty play in a previous hearing. Uh, the video shows Judge Holthus denying Redden's request for probation due to his criminal history and preparing to sentence him to jail time. So um, yeah, this is a very interesting case because of, along with being disturbing, you know, it, it we ha- as we have talked about plenty on this show, we have a real serious crisis in this country of violent criminals being released from jail, given probation, uh, allowed out on bail, paroled, whatever the case may be. You know, they they are allowed to avoid jail time or they're released from jail. Um even though they are still violent criminals. Like they are violent people. And so in this case, you had at least one judge in Las Vegas who said, no, you know what? You committed a violent crime. We're not just going to let you go free. You have to, you have to go to jail. And um, right in that moment, this guy, this criminal, decided to, to prove exactly why that judge was correct in making that decision. Let's watch the tape. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he gets a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of this court... Oh, 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 hey, oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, All right. Okay? So apparently the judge, uh, from what I understand, the judge was basically uninjured, thank God, in the attack. Uh, somebody That was another injury, though. Someone else was injured. Um, somehow the guy... Now, I, I mean, personally, I, they spent... And that, that video goes on. I mean, they spent at least a minute. They spent at least like a full 60 seconds trying to pry this guy off of the judge in the courtroom that he was assaulting. You know, one question I have is like, why do you, why does he get 60 seconds? I'd give him like zero second. I mean, from the time when the assault happens to when you pull your gun, there should be like one second that elapses. Now, it might be the case that uh, they weren't able to, to do that because if they had done that, depending on what was happening, maybe the judge, you know, you'd end up uh, harming the judge in the process. So that might be why. But if there's ever a time to use lethal force, it's when someone is physically assaulting a judge in a courtroom. I mean, there, there are many other times to use it too, but that should be one of them. If you're single, you've probably seen or heard about all the insane dating apps out there. But what if I told you there was actually a dating app that cared about your morals and biblical values? Higher Bond is a new Christian dating app built to be safer, less stressful, and more Christ-centered. Higher Bond is completely different than anything else out there. There's no addictive swiping. The focus is truly on quality over quantity, and it's designed to form lasting marriages. Mar- uh, Higher Bond is veteran-owned by a husband and wife looking to change the way Christian singles meet online. It's no secret that left-wing media and big tech are against companies like Higher Bond. In fact, one of the major um, tech companies is preventing Higher Bond from running ads on the platform, 
Our society and our country need what Higher Bond is providing more than ever. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today for free at higherbond.com. Make 2024 special by meeting someone new with higherbond.com. That's higherbond.com today. And now, uh, the articles about this attack all mention that this uh, guy is expected to face additional charges. Well, yeah, I'd certainly hope so. And the additional sentence, like, he should go to jail for 100 years now. They should pass down a sentence of 100 years in prison, which obviously means you're going to die in prison. Because th- this is, you cannot allow this. I mean, for all, all we hear about protecting the integrity of our system and all the rest of it, uh, you need to make an example of this guy. So he was upset because he was going to, it probably would have been a, a relatively small amount of jail time given the charges. Now you come back and you bring him in in chains this time. You bring him in chained and you say, hey, guess what? Scumbag, now you're going to jail for 100 years. Good job. Your life's over. Your life's over because we don't, you know, society, we don't need you. Uh, you'll never be in society again. You're going to suffer in a cage for the rest of your life. Congratulations. That's what should happen. If you're serious about defending the integrity of our justice system, what little of it is left. If you want to see a lot more of this kind of thing, then come back with an additional charge and put him in jail for like a year because of it. If you want to see more of this. Um, but again, I mean, this, this is exactly why, you know, she, she unfortunately was made to pay a price for it, but this, this proves exactly why this judge made the right decision. I mean, you can hear what she said prior to, uh, passing down the sentence. She said, no, you know, th- th- this, based on the charges you get, you need a taste. She, I think she said, you need a taste of something else. You need a taste of justice is what you need. Um, and prior to that, this guy was making, uh, he was given the normal sob story. Oh, I'll never do it again. I'm a che I've changed my ways. Your honor, I'm a different person. You, you see, I, I've, 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 I'll never, I'm, I'm, I'll never do it again. I'm, I've been reformed. And how many times do judges get this sob story and for whatever reason they believe it? And they send the person back out on the street until something heinous happens. And this guy, this guy switches in like 30 seconds from, I've changed my ways, to leaping over the judge's bench and assaulting the judge in the courtroom. Tells you everything you need to know. Thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to listen to my full podcast on the go, you can check out The Matt Walsh Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.